What's the first app you open on your phone in the morning? Uh, always Instagram, guarantee. It's okay. always IG. I do a thing in the morning where I do morning news. So I like scroll through IG and I see like what's currently happening. And then I go on my storyline and then I'll blast it out to everybody's stuff that I found important and I give my own opinion on it. That's cool. Yeah. Can, can you give my listeners a little history of who you are? So my name is Hawaii Zone Mainland, but everybody calls me Maine or Mainland. I uh, live in Hawaii. And uh, basically, I'm the owner of We Stranded Records, which is the first hip hop company uh, record label here in Hawaii. And um, I give artists the opportunity to shine, record them, put them out there, promote them. And uh, I was a recording artist, but I'm no longer a recording artist. I'm an executive producer for music. So people come in, I produce their songs. How did your family and friends react hearing your first song? Not good, because I used a lot of bad words and I got in trouble. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. When they first heard my first song, I, yeah, I uh, said a lot of things that they didn't like. And uh, uh, so it wasn't well received with my Ohana, my family. But then um, over time, they realized I wasn't going to let it go. So they just kind of had to accept it. <laughs> All right. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would that meal be? Buffalo hot wings, for sure. Hands down. Those are really good. <laughs> what is the weirdest or funniest question you've ever been asked in an interview? Uh, let's see. I have been asked some pretty funky stuff. I've been asked, God, weirdest. That's a good one. Give me a moment on that weirdest. Uh, I would say, um, will you come to my house afterwards and record? <laughs> that to me was really, yeah, like I was in the middle of the interview and I thought like when it was done and then the last question was like, can you come to my house and record with me right now? And no, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> What's the best compliment you've ever gotten? Um, for me, a compliment has been more like when the crowd, because I was a big performer in the crowd, I guess a compliment is when they enjoy what I do when I'm on stage. So the biggest compliment is to have a crowd love what you're doing and then they're cheering you on. So that to me, there's nothing that beats that feeling when you have hundreds and hundreds of people who love what you do. All right. What are some words of encouragement that you could leave for the future generations? Uh, I would say that nobody else's opinion matters more than your own. Your own opinion and your own belief is the most important thing and to not be guided by anyone else, but, your, but how you feel and what you really believe you want to do and not let nothing sway you. That's what I would leave behind. Never let the crowd tell you what you should do. Do you, cause you're gonna do it great. Those are some great words. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you have for your 13 year old self? Oh my God, uh, my 13 year old self, I would say, um, I would say, uh, focus more on what I want, what I want to be. Don't lose time trying to be like someone else. I wasted a lot of time always wanting to be like someone else. I would say, focus on who I want to be. That's what I would tell my 13 year old self. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter anyone else and what they do and what's cool what's not i could look back at myself at 13 i would say just be yourself and enjoy it and don't worry about anyone else okay how would you describe your 13 year old self in three words uh, uh in three words <sighs> three words i would say uh hard-headed a lot <laughs> I was very hard-headed, so hard-headed a lot. <laughs> so that's how I would describe myself. <laughs> okay. 
How would your peers describe what you do? Oh my God, right now, um, innovative. They would say very creative. They would say, um, I, from what I've heard and I've been told, which is not too often, um, impactful. They would say that i um, proud and exciting. They always want to see what else I'm going to do. So yeah, that's definitely things they would say. He's creative, innovative, <clears throat> excited. Don't know what else he's going to do. <laughs> okay. What single piece of life advice would you give me? What would I give you? Keep doing what you're doing because you're doing absolutely stunning. Thank you. you know, I haven't... I have never met you before and I know so much about you in such a small period of time and I didn't even have to look you up um, just from the people who know you talk so highly of you and your accomplishments. So the advice I would say is go until the wheels fall off, keep going and keep not chasing because you're already living it. Live, live it and make it better. Make it its best, whatever choices or decisions you choose, make it the best version of what it's supposed to be. All right. Tell me about the three most influential people in your life and how they impacted you. Oh, I would have to say five. Five most influential people are my kids because I have five of them. And I didn't know what it was to be influenced until I had children. And when you have your own children, watching them grow up, my daughter's just about to be the same age as you. That's crazy. So um, she's about to be 13. And until you have your little ones, your little ones really will impact everything you do. And they will change you and um, they'll make a complete different human being than you thought you were gonna be. They've influenced me way more than any other human being can influence me. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite TV show? Power by 50 Cent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your go-to snack? Oh, God, I'm not supposed to eat any snacks, but I sure do love them. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Reese's Pieces. Don't put Reese's in my house. I will devour Reese's. I love Reese's. <laughs> if I should pray for you, what should I pray for? I would love for you to pray for me. And I would say, pray that I always have a peace of mind. That's what I would say. That's a good answer. Mm hmm. Thank All you. All right. All right. So, this is your boy, Hawaii Zone Mainland. I'm all the way out here on the Big Island of Hawaii. And I want to say it's been a pleasure and I'm currently on Daybreak Star Radio Network with Faith. All right. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you doing an interview with me. <laughs> Have a good day. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Take care, Faith. Bye. Bye.